Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark, with another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards, and today I'm gonna let you guys know I'm late to the party on this. I did not know this had happened. I uh, just recently found out that Gaineron changed up how their switches are made, the inside specifically. So here today I have uh, two versions of these. Now these I wanted to show in the box um, these were bought from directly from the Gatoron store on AliExpress they actually had like a two month um, estimate but they arrived in about three weeks um, they do come in though lightweight I mean I think it's a little hollow but I do believe it feels like it's acrylic so it's like um, you know a switch test or a lube station whatever but these are the milky uh cap 2 um from, from gateron <clears throat> excuse me and i'm looking for a key cap i know i must have one around here somewhere yep yeah all right so um, i still have to find a board to load these up on because i oh I mean, come to expect from, um, I mean, milky yellows, uh, if you're a linear fan, they're probably in your collection. Uh, they are, especially for the price, you, you do get a known switch that is good. Works stock, works even better um, lubed, but yeah, I'm looking for something. There we go. All right, so I actually need a... Well, I'm sure if I used a little bit of force, I could get it out of there. But here's the interesting part. Something that I don't know how I missed, because I know these have been around for a minute. But everybody's, you know, it asked me, I'm like, oh, I got, got milky pro or caps. Um, but, all right. This is what I'm talking about. See that stem? That's the stem hole. Instead of it being down inside of the uh, bottom housing, like we're used to, the bottom housing actually has what I would call the stem. Or basically, it's a uh, the stem slider. So uh, this is completely new to me. Uh, this is a new design. They say because it does have a tiny little hole, and there's the bottom of it. I really wish you would focus better. I like this camera, but then I don't. Like, the autofocus. There we go. All right, so, see, it's got a hole in it, supposedly to prevent air pressure or air pockets, but I've never really considered that as an issue. I don't know. Maybe I'm just speaking for myself. Uh, but, yeah, these, uh, so I got the, the milky, milky caps, which are these, like I said, this is, a, so, you know, not much franken switching you're going to do except with other, uh, other caps at this point, and it looks like the, uh, see the spring goes over that outside, the uh, them <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to call the pieces now because it's like a hollow cylinder so but does it sound better than a regular yellow monkey that's hard to say honestly it sounds pretty similar pretty similar but I also decided to get I am a big fan of yellow switches are the V2s, and I also found that they too are. Uh, come on. I actually have a better opener, but 
this one's the one that I keep in here. I need to keep the other open right here, I believe, because it's much easier to get that stuff. Now, is there a lube on there? Yeah, there was a light amount of lube on there. Um, so yeah, so we have the same thing. We have a, uh, a hollow stem, or stem slider. Well, I mean, stem base. I don't. I don't even know what to call these now. So maybe I should go look up the patents because I mean, this is a definitely a different design. Is it better? I don't know. Um, all right. Well, yeah. Of course, cap caps were a little bit more, but they do. They are. I mean, there are better switches. Um, <clears throat> so I am going to load these up. I don't have some non-cap yellows, uh, but I do have some milky yellows. So I'm going to compare all of them and. Uh, Let's see. I mean, it's nice. It's it almost sounds like a long pull snap or you know bottom mount. Almost, not quite, but it is different. I I, I can't really put my my finger on it. Um, but there is something. not bad but I will be coming back I just wanted to do a quick video I am still working on audio video trying to get it just right I'm trying out this camera so far it's good except for the autofocus um, so I'm just making a couple of quick videos these though I will be loading up and doing a sound test on probably do it on the tester boards uh, I think they're great for doing sound tests and <clears throat> Because, yeah, these came in a bag, 35, and these are 35 as well. Um, so I've got a 70, so I can do any 65% board. So I'll probably either do a tester and a gas. No, I'm, no, I'm probably just a... Maybe. Well, I've got more than one gas 67. So anyway, that was a quick uh, review. In case you didn't know, I mean, I think I'm the last one to the party on this. Because, I mean, I'd heard of the switches but had missed that the design had changed. Like, I mean, I just hadn't bought them, so I didn't know that they were they were different. I had plenty of yellows in stock, per se, for a while, so I didn't need to, uh, I didn't think I needed to buy any yellows because I didn't think they'd be anything different. I was wrong. So in case you didn't know, hey, look, the Caps and the Milky Pros uh, are now different. I don't know if they're going to just keep it with that line or if they're all moving that way. Um, obviously, that's something to keep in mind for Frank and Switchers. So, until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on. Peace.